Good morning, Mary. I actually wasn't expecting anybody to attend. I was planning on doing a, um, she's going to pre-record something. So make sure you RSVP going forward, Mary, because we have the, in the, in the events tab, that's, that was, that's what lets me know to actually show up because nobody RSVP for this. You're actually the only person here. Maybe some other folks will show okay. up. Okay. I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, just in the in the future, if you plan to attend, make sure you RSVP and then um because I almost was not going to be here because nobody has signed up. <laughs> okay, okay. Um what questions do you have? Um I just I was um looking forward to attending your class because I just I'm planning to um create a baking show, not a cooking show actually, a baking show on YouTube. But I don't really know how to go about it. So as I was as I was searching on the, on Google on how to go about it, that was how I saw your community and I joined. So I was just like, maybe if I join this meeting today, I will get to know how to go about it. Yeah, you um. So you're an experienced baker. Mm, not really experienced, but I just started. Okay, so who? What are you trying to accomplish with a cooking show? Okay, so instead of going into opening a bakery, because um, because of my health, I can't really manage a business like that. So I was thinking maybe instead of going into a bakery, I should create a baking show that can actually um, be profitable for me also, like a career, instead of going into opening a bakery. Okay, so but when I... When I ask, are you an experienced baker? Like, how good are you at baking? Okay, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I thought you meant if I've baked if I've baked professionally, but no, I'm I'm good at baking. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Is the professional part is not really important. Just just do you know okay. what you're doing? Like, yeah, you yeah. Got to bake. That's the important part. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I, what I tell everybody to do is start. Well, do you, do you do you have a YouTube channel? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I have a YouTube channel, but it's not functioning. What does that mean? You're just not posting or you, can you even yeah, log I, into Yeah, I don't it? post. I don't post. Okay. I just created it for viewing or that um, taking shows. <laughs> so that's that's the first thing. You want a, a cooking show, really, or a baking show, really, yeah. is no more complicated than you um, standing in front of a camera and cooking. And that camera, or baking, and that camera can be your phone. So yeah. uh, to get started, what I tell everybody is cook something or bake something and record yourself doing it and talk people through it. That's how you get started. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. Have you have you tried to do that yet? Yeah, I've tried recording myself cooking. I'm um, baking, I mean, yeah, I've tried recording, but I've not posted anything yet. What happened when you tried? No, it actually went well. The problem I have is in the editing process because I use my smartphone to edit, so it's not that easy for me because where I am, we don't really have network. <laughs> so I've actually recorded and edited, and it's actually okay. I asked people around me if it's okay, if it's good to post, and they said yes. Did you post it? No. <laughs> I, I just posted it on my WhatsApp status. I've not posted it on YouTube yet. Yeah, um, you gotta get you gotta get started, Mary. That that as long as the show exists only in your head, you're yeah. never gonna have a, a cooking show. You you have to put something out, and then okay. the next time you you'll make it a little bit better, and then the next yeah. time you get a little bit better. But you can't just keep talking about it. You got to do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> As far as editing, you're gonna to have to, you want to out, outsource that as soon as you can. That's editing just takes a very long time to do. It's a, yeah. a, a highly skilled task that takes years to get good at, and yeah, it's never going to make you money. Editing videos, creating videos will make you money. Editing videos will never make you any money. So you want to outsource that to somebody, let somebody else do that, and you just focus okay. on creating videos. Okay, okay, okay. So when are you going to post the video? Um, I'm going to do that on Monday. <laughs> I'm going to do that on Monday. 
you already had some of these videos made, right? Yes, yes. Why can't you post one today? Um, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't really know. So you going to not be scared on Monday? What's going to change between now and Monday? Uh, I'm just trying to prepare myself. <laughs> Ain't no preparation. You need to post that video today. Get going. Okay. So I think my problem is starting. So I'm 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 going to start this. I'm going to start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've already recorded the videos. You showed it yeah. to somebody and they said, okay, yeah, that's good. I like it. Now you gotta post it. Okay. No more tomorrow. Tomorrow is not your friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it today. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> what time are you gonna do it? Uh, when we, when I leave this meeting now. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Oh. I didn't. I didn't hear you. Did you? Did you drop out? Are no, you still here? Any other questions? I'm talking, I can't hear you. What I will do then, because you're still here, but I can't hear you. So I will just do a quick walkthrough of my cooking show accelerator community, which this is for everybody, anyone watching, to help you understand what this resource is and how you can use it to get your cooking show started. Let's start with the how to get help section. It's the fastest way to get help. These are the different training options that I offer. The five day cooking show challenge. I get a lot of people who ask me for one on one support. And that's really hard to do. Everybody wants to show, everybody wants one-on-one -on -one VIP support. I am just one person with 24 hours in a day. So I had to I eventually figured out a way to do this. And so what, I, what I'm offering, what I'm offering right now is a five-day challenge, one-on-one -on -one five-day challenge. So you sign up and I work with you one-on-one -on -one five, for five days to start your cooking show. And that's what this is right here. Watch the video. There's all the information. And then you click the calendar to schedule. And the way that works is we're going to work five days straight, Monday through Friday. You're going to pick the time from the times that are available. And whatever time you choose is the same time we'll, we will work every day. So if you choose the 8, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. time slot, then that's the same time slot that we will use Monday through Friday. And we will get your cooking show up in five days. That's no, no problem at all. That's going to be simple, provided that you cooperate with your success. And that's what the cooking show five day challenge is. I'm working with you one on one, five days straight for one hour a day. And that's how we create your cooking show. The celebrity chef masterclass is the option that most people are looking for, but you really may not know it. This is my online course where I teach you everything you need to know about how to start a cooking show and turn it into a revenue generating business. And on this page, I explain how this all works. Uh, you have some of the chefs here that have gone through my program and they will, they explain to you what their experience is with it. And the third option is the quick start courses. These are very simple, short courses for anybody who just wants to get started, just needs the basic information on how to get started. And that's what those quick start courses are for. So that's right here, over here in the navigation menu on the left, uh, the how to get help section. The library is where I post regularly, daily or almost daily. And these are different, just different information that uh, will help you move your cooking show forward or different topics re related to uh, hosting a cooking show and the kind of subjects that you might want to discuss. Here's an article on uh, 
how to slow down cognitive decline through diet. This one is why your catering business isn't growing. If anyone who runs a catering business, that's a very important video to watch. I'm uh, hosting that with, uh, it's a, a hot seat review of a catering business that I did with uh, Sharon Burns, Sharon Reed now, who owns uh, Arx Catering. She's been a caterer for 18 years. And so she knows everything there is about how to grow a catering business. And what I do, what we do in that um, in that hot seat review is we review the catering business of the business owner who submitted their business for review. And we explain to them what they can do to achieve the objectives that they communicated to us. And we also explain how what we're talking about, the recommendations we make for that caterer's business op- apply to yours. So this is really important training for anybody who wants to grow, start or grow a catering business and just doesn't know what to do, doesn't need gui- doesn't have any guidance. This is where you can get that. These interviews that we do that I host with different people are opportunities for you to learn and 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 get help. You can type questions in the in the chat. I mean, I'm sorry, the comment section. But everything in here, this is just an information resource. It's training that I offer. This is what from when I had the open enrollment for the coaching program. Here's a uh, an article about running food trucks. Things that uh, some food trucks owners wish you knew. So a lot of people are aspiring to be on a restaurant or have a catering business or run a food truck. And there is so much more to it than knowing how to cook. That's the minimal part of it. There are all these other things associated with running that type of business that you need to know. And I provide that kind of information here in the news feed. Mental Health for Entrepreneurs, this is a, a recurring guest that I have, the therapist that I work with, because so many business owners are in need of therapy to just enjoy, because running a business is a, a difficult, very difficult life until you get things figured out. And sometimes folks need help from a therapist to figure those things out. So I do regular interviews with Marsha where we just discuss different topics, uh, mental health topics for entrepreneurs. So again, this is these are people who you normally would not have access to. And you get to learn from them and post questions, participate in the discussion, uh, and so that's what you get here in the news feed. You'll get notifications about that every once a day. I think you can change it to where you get notified every time I post something if you want, but at a minimum, you will find you will get a notification every day that I post something one, one notification every day that I post something. The events tab upcoming events is an important tab for you because this is where I post when I'm going to be live, when I'm going to have a guest, things like that. And so you come to this tab, see what's available in here, RSVP, so that I know you're going to attend. And then you will also get the notifications before the meeting starts. And yeah, this is just another resource that I provide in here, another way for me to uh, support you in getting your cooking show started. Back over here on the navigation menu on the left, tips and tools. Here's some basic tips and tools for you to use. Uh, Number one. Fill out your user profile. Uh, this is a lot of people don't, most people don't fill it out. And what that's doing is giving me no information to help you with. So if you really are serious about doing, having a cooking show, building a public presence, that's what you're going to do with a cooking show. You're going to be on the way I teach it. You're using a cooking show to put yourself on TV. Well, if you want to be a per- public personality like that, a public persona, Use that to build your brand and grow your business. You have to take advantage of every marketing opportunity available and configuring your profile is one of those marketing opportunities. It tells me who you are, what you're doing. It tells other folks what you're doing. So you may find some strategic partners in here. Uh, But if you don't fill out your profile, then you, you really have done nothing to help move your cooking show forward. You've done nothing to help me help you So I encourage you to fill out your user profile and then there's some other tips on here for things that you can do to help you move your cooking show forward. There are two courses uh, that I offer here, the cooking show starter course and FAQ library. These again, uh, low cost courses, you can get access to them 
They're here in the menu. They're also right here in the, under the Quick Start courses. These are just basic fundamental courses. The FAQ library in particular, I get the same questions over and over and over again from everybody. It's the same basic questions over and over again. And the FAQ library is the easiest way for you to get the answers to those questions so that for some people, the consultation that you, you're looking for, you can actually get it through the FAQ library. All of the questions that you have will be answered right there. And so that is it. Let me, let me make sure as far as the tour goes. Yeah, I think I covered everything. But the most important part of this is most important part of this is you. Your cooking show will happen based on actions that you take, something that you do. It's not going to be for me. I've shown you all of the resources that I'm providing to help you out, but I can only help you if you choose to take action to help yourself. So if you want to have a cooking show, you are going to have to do something. So just make sure you understand that just putting in your email address to get access to this training resource is that's, that's not going to do anything. That's never going to result in you having a cooking show. You're going to have to take additional action beyond that in order to have a show. So I've shown you a bunch of different ways uh, in the community that you can, uh, in the training community that you uh, have access to, to take the next step to move your show forward. Now it's up to you. I'm here to help you. But uh, again, I cannot make it happen for you. Your cooking show will happen based on the actions that you take. So make sure you participate. When I make a post, read it. If it looks like it's relevant to you, read it. If you have something to say about it, leave a comment. Configure your profile. Sign up for the, uh, when you see an event, if you can make it and it makes sense for you to attend, RSVP for it. Do something to move your show forward because that's the only way you're ever going to have one. So, all right, I will, um, you'll be seeing other stuff. This, you know, I launched this community. I said I would be able to do, because I would be able to do things that I cannot just do via email. This makes it so much easier. And so, yeah, I will be pr promoting different things in here, offering different things to try to help you move your show forward. But again, your show will come from actions that you take. It will not come from anything that I do. It will come from the actions that you take. So, I would say write down why you want to have a cooking show. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Write it down on a piece of paper. Because most people are not, don't want a cooking show just for the sake of a cooking show. They're using a cooking show to accomplish something. It's a bridge to get you to wherever you want to go. Where is that? What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Write that down. Once you've written it down, then ask yourself, what do you need to do to make it happen and start writing down those things. What's the next step you need to take? And then once you've written that down, then ask yourself, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? How much time are you going to allow to pass before you actually get started on the tasks that are necessary to deliver the result that you want? Again, your cooking show and whatever it is you're trying to use it to accomplish will come through the actions that you take. It's not going to come from anything that I say or anything that I do. It's going to come from the actions that you take. And we can make that happen as fast as you want. I can support you in that, but I cannot make you do it. So, all right, that's it. Uh, I will see you next time.